Divorced. Beheaded. Survived. And tonight, New York City, we are... <laughs> Listen up, let me tell you a story. A story that you think you've heard before. We know our names and our fame and our face. We know all about the glories and the disgraces.
and welcome to our divorce beheaded live tour. We got a whole lot in store for you tonight. That's right, girl. We've got the riffs to ruffle your ruffs. Ah ha ha! Shimmies to shake your chemise. <laughs> and a whole lot of history, or as we like to call it, history. <laughs> You know who we are. Please, no portraits. But let's give it up for our ladies in
came straight to the UK, all the British dudes like, epic fail. Ooh, ooh, I wanna dance and sing. Politics, not my thing. Ooh, ooh, but then I met the king, and soon my daddy said, you should try and get ahead. Obviously, kept messaging me like every day. Could be better than he sent me a letter. And who am I kidding? I was Prince Manger. Sent a reply. Ooh, just saying hi. Ooh, you're a nice guy. I'll think about it, maybe. X O baby. Uh -oh. Here we go. You sent him kisses. I didn't know I would move in with his missus. What? A lie. You're living with his wife. Do. Sorry, not sorry about what I said. I'm just trying to have some fun. Don't worry, don't worry, don't lose your head. I didn't mean to hurt anyone. LOL, say oh well, I go to hell. I'm sorry, not sorry about what I said. Don't lose your head. In the bed and the little one said, if you want to be with Somebody hang you!
the winner. She wants another turn? Over my dead body! <laughs> yeah! Uh, anyway, I'm pretty sure it's my turn next. <laughs> you? Coin, <Quite> please. <laughs> Excuse? Are you for real? Yeah, weren't you the one he truly loved? Oh, yeah, didn't you finally give him the son he so desperately wanted? Yeah, like I had a daughter and he literally chopped my head off. <laughs> yeah, okay, you're right. You're right, I was lucky. I was really lucky. I was in love. I had just had a beautiful baby. Henry was happy because thank God it was an Edward and not an Edwina. <laughs> I was so excited. First first steps, his first words for not getting a good night's sleep for three years. <laughs> but I never got to see any of that. You know, people say Henry was stone-hearted, uncaring, and I'm not so sure he was. Yeah, actually, come to think of it, there was this one really cute time where I had a daughter and he dropped my head off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, look, I know his times with the queens before me were hard, but they were also full of fire. He raged and stormed at them, and because they are both absolute badass monarchs, they raged and stormed right back. But I didn't do that. Instead, I stood by him like I was made of stone and I stood firm. No matter his flaws or his tempers, no matter my doubts or fears, I stayed there by his side. And that's not because I was scared or naive or weak. It's because I loved him.
The time has come for you to select a bride, your highness. May we present Christina of Denmark, looking for mates, dates, and a British monarch with whom to secure the line of succession. Thank you, face. <laughs> no? Well, never mind. She has already made a match with the Duke of Milan anyhow. Okay, next! <laughs> your highness! May we present? Amalia of Cleves, just a German girl trying to live the English dream. Hashtag no Catholics. Hashtag big dowry. in the hall of the Holy Roman Empire. And let me assure you, Herr Holbein has certainly done more justice. Oh, they are good. And I think we can say with some certainty, you will be happily married for many years to come. Oh, I can see it now. Henry the Eighth and his famous four wives. No oh, need to say girls. The pleasure has been ours. In the house of to 
the court. Pull up outside of my carriage, don't got no marriage, so I have a little fight with the flipping as it takes my fur. <gasps> Lol, I'm just 
just kidding, my life's amazing. <laughs>
are you met? <laughs> Tall, large, Henry the Eighth, supreme <laughs> head of the Church of England. Uh, hit it! 
just can't keep doing this.
you're stuck. We can do about it now. spent the whole show competing, we realized it turned out to be such a mess. Yeah, because if we had realized, then maybe we could have done something else. Like even have a fake competition to show everybody how messed up comparing us is. Oh, yeah, and then we could have found some cool way to like, I don't know, reclaim our stories and like all become the leading ladies. Yeah. Oh, we could have done that as a song. Oh, I would have tied things together so neatly. <laughs> If only we'd have thought of it before. Is that the time, Catherine? Right. Or do you think it might be, I don't know, because of his of what actually went down all those years ago. Because, after all, we're one of a kind, no category. Too many years lost in history. We're free to take our 
Stay. 